everyone this is Tommy from foyer and today I'm going to show you how to export a floor plan and then also how to do an elevation view of your space using neo foyer uh, 2.0 the first thing you want to do is open your project and then come up here in the top right hand corner and click on export 2d Once that is loaded, you'll see this screen pop up. The very first thing that I like to always do is that I like to crop in my floor plan. And you can do that by either grasping the sides and using this little crop feature, or you can just simply zoom in, clicking on it and moving it up. You see how we have everything here. So this is a little office space. I have my shelving here, a painting, and then I also have my desk area with a rug and some paintings over here and a window. If I find out that I no longer want these things, I can come up here to the top and I can do hide. So I simply can click on this chair here and I can hide it out and hit out the, uh, the chair and the rug. I can unclick the rug. And now the only thing that will not pop up once I export it will be this chair. And I can do that with all the individual objects. I can also click on it to unhide it. Next to hide, we'll have the hide layer feature. And this comes where you can just hide the layers. So if I want to hide all my furniture, I can click on that. I also can hide my room title, hide the ruler. There isn't any ruler marks on here yet, but if you come up here to the top, you can add ruler marks and measure things out like the distance and everything. And I can even hide the inner dimension labels and hide that out. I'm going to just bring this all back. Yep. So over here in the left hand corner, we'll have material. And this is where I can go. If I want to add a brick wall effect, or even if I want to add a steel wall, or just have a normal concrete. If I come down here to elements, I can add um, a compass to it. So if I want to point out that this is my north wall, I am able to add that here. If I don't need it, I can delete it out, and then I also can clone it. Come back up here to elements i am able to add in different lines and then also different shapes so if i didn't have my furniture and i just wanted to do a floor plan or a floor layout i can use these shapes to create that so i can create a rug effect with this shape if i wanted to to display or disc, uh, to show that i want to add a rug in i also can click on it delete it and clone it Come back to the elements. And then under elements, we'll have text. So I'm able to label everything. So if I click on label floor, four, I can click on this and I can type in rug to label that this is a rug. Again, I can delete it, I can clone it, and then I also can come up here and click edit. And I can change the font of it if I would like. I can change the font size bold italic, italic underline and then the format of it okay. say i like how this is all laid out i can download dsf and this is just going to be strictly for cad so you can upload this into cad and work on it that way or i can do export now and the export now is going to bring up a title page for me I can simply type in um, a title. So I can just do office. You see it changed here. The total area, I just always leave it at A1. This is going to be, um, if I uncheck this fit to paper,
I can bring up the different scales. I can do landscape or portrait. If I check back to fit to paper, it's automatically going to be the scale one, um, 125. I have this here. I can edit my company details. So I can put my company name here, my company email, and then I also can add a logo. Once all of that is done, I can simply do download and it is going to download as a PDF. And you can send this to your clients. Let's click on it and let's see how the PDF looks. And this is how the PDF will turn out and look. If we come back here into the office space and we press cancel, I will show you how to do an elevation. To set an elevation, we're going to come here and click on set elevation view. Go on to zoom out. Move it over a little bit. And now this will pop up. And this is kind of like um, north, south, east, west, but it's A, B, C, D. And you're going to click on which one that your elements are on. So I'm just going to stick with B and I'm going to crop in as much as I want to be in my elevation view here. And then I want to add my desk and my desk, my desk and my chair into the elevation view. Once I have all that done, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do save view. And we're going to name it. We can name it four and we can press save. Now we are in, um, in view four. Come back to sheets. And now this is our elevation view. The exact same thing as when you're doing a flat layout, you can hide it out. So if I don't want this painting, I can hide that painting out or I can bring it back by just simply clicking on it. You don't have the options to do a material border because this is just the elevation view, but you have the option to add in elements like your compass, your lines and your shapes. And then you still have the option to add in text. With this, with the elevation view, we usually use this for exact measurements. So I can come up here to the top left and I can click on ruler. And now I can add in my measurements. So I can measure out this shelving unit here and make sure I have that in. Also, I can do this drawing and put these in and add all my measurements that I need. I'm going to press escape to escape out of that. And then say I put in all my measurements, I am going to just zoom in. And then the exact same thing. So you still can download it and allow it to come up in CAD. Or you can do export now and bring up your title page. And this will pop up. You can put in your office, I mean, the name of it, uh, the title of it, all this information, and then you can put in your company details. Once all that is done, simply do download. And again, this will download as a PDF. We're going to press cancel just to hop back to the screen. We're still in view four, but if we go to uh, views, these are all the different views that we that I have saved with this specific project and all the different measurements and settings. So I can click on different ones and the settings for that will pop up or I can just simply come back to this one and now the one that we just saved will pop up. And that is how you will export and then also how you will do an elevation view. Good luck and happy designing. Bye.